Hello and welcome to Featured Species, where we highlight local wildlife wonders that can be found near you. When plants go to seed, they use a variety of different kinds of adaptations to make sure that they're dispersed far so that there's less competition. Some use fluffy growths on the seeds to disperse with the wind like this milkweed. Other plants like this pokeberry get eaten by animals and get dispersed in the poop. But let me introduce you to a local plant that is an absolute pyromaniac and uses explosions. This is the jewelweed, or often called the touch-me-not because of its explosive tendencies. A beautiful native wildflower that's found near swamps and rivers. They have an incredibly unique yellow or orange cone-shaped flower, and their leaves are oval with bumps on the edges. The leaf is actually one of the more interesting parts of the plant. As discovered by the Native Americans long ago, they have a variety of uses when it comes to skin discomfort, such as the effects of stinging nettles, poison ivy, or insect bites. If the leaves are crushed, the juice is exposed and applied to the wound, supposedly they have a medicinal effect that will relieve the pain from the area. They also have strange microscopic hairs on the surface, so that when the leaf is submerged, it actually traps air underneath them, showing an incredibly weird silvery sheen. This is probably where the name jewelweed actually comes from. Ah, but it's not those beautiful flowers or the strange leaves you want to know about. It's those darn explosive seeds. Don't fool me. I know that's why you clicked on the video. These seed pods really don't seem like much, almost resembling pea pods. But as soon as they're ripe and something just slightly touches it, boom! A mechanism in the seed pod causes it to recoil, sending seeds in all directions. The explosion may not be flashy, but the mechanism is certainly important when it comes to the spread of the population, which is great news in the habitat because a lot of wildlife will eat the leaves and drink the nectar. So the next time you're feeling fidgety or wanna watch some explosions, be sure to stop by the jewelry patch and give the seed pot a little tickle. Not only will you be satisfied by the surprise, but you'll also be putting the mechanisms of the plant to good use and spreading some natural habitat for wildlife. That's all for now, but be sure to check out past featured species and subscribe for more nature content. But until then, I'll see you out in the field.